Ayala Zach. And little helper birthday girl, Miss Addison. This is my birthday girl. <laughs> uh, tonight we're going to be making a chicken recipe. It's a Filipino chicken recipe called chicken adobo. Uh, really good. I'm talking really good. And this is a, the only ingredients we, we're going to need. Uh, a few cloves of garlic, a medium white onion, some white vinegar, and I'm going to use Coke. So I don't know if it's an authentic Filipino recipe, but I've seen a lot of uh, recipes that, that use Coke in this, so it's really good. Uh, the last one's going to be soy sauce. So I've got some boneless, I'm sorry, some bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs here, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm wearing my apron because I don't need to fool around with that soy sauce. It'll uh, get on this white shirt. All right, so I've got a cup and a half of the white vinegar. I've got a cup and a half of the Coke. And last, I've got a cup and a half of the soy sauce. Now, if I'm just cooking for my family, I usually only cook about four or five uh, thighs, but I'm cooking for two families, so that's why I'm using a cup and a half. A uh, personal chef. If it was just for us, I'd be using one cup each. So, all right, I'm going to get this marinated for about 20 minutes while I cut up my onion and my garlic, and we'll be back. All right, we're back. Um, that's been marinated for about 20 minutes. I went ahead and cut up my onion and my garlic. So what I'm going to do now is I want to brown it. You can skip this step if you want, but uh, I like to brown it. So I'm going to hit the saute button. And I'm going to add about maybe two tablespoons of olive oil. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these thighs in there. And I'm going to have to do, I'm not going to be able to fit all, all of them in there, so I'm going to have to do it two different steps. Now I'm going to brown them about five or six minutes per side, but I'm going to continuously monitor them and flip them because the first time I, I cooked in this pot with this recipe, uh, I left them on one side too much and the skin got stuck to the bottom. So it still turned out great. Uh, I peeled as much of the skin off as I could and I was like, oh, well, I'm going to get the burn notice, but I didn't. So I just keep rolling on. Anyway, but I'm going to just monitor it better this time. About every two minutes, I'm going to flip it. Every two, two and a half minutes, I'm going to flip it just so I keep that skin from a uh, I'm gonna stick it to the bottom. Alright. So I got four of them in there right now. So again, five or six minutes, brown, and we'll be back. So I sauteed or browned all this chicken for about five minutes each. And I was pretty good at monitoring. I got a little bit of skin in the bottom if you want to look at it. Uh, and that's fine. You can pull it off with these. I'm going to scrape it. I'm not worried about the burn notice, like I said. All right, and once I took the chicken out, I put it back in the uh, in the mixture. Don't worry about that, because that's going right back in there too. So don't worry about the, the, the chicken health issues. All right, so turn my saute function back on. And I've already got my onions chopped up. Addison, you want to add them? Come on, birthday girl. In there for me. And I'm going to brown these onions in that in those dressings down there. All right, so I'm gonna get those browned uh, for about uh, about 10 minutes, and then the last minute I'm gonna add my garlic, and then we'll get to uh, we'll get a pressure cooking. So let's do that, and we'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna cook my onions down for about 10 minutes. You gonna take a look at it? I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic, and you want to do that at the end because you don't want it to become bitter. So you just cook it down in there for about a minute. A couple of sips of beer. And the whole time I've been browning the onions, I've been scraping. So I got almost everything off of it. We'll take two. Let me give those a sip. Alright. Now you're going to take your chicken. Let's put it back in its marinade. We'll go ahead. that in there. And you don't have to rack it, stack it, but that's fine. Smells good. Still really good. I'm going to taste it and it's better. That's the 
fried rice going on over here in this one. All right. All right. All right. Now we're going to put this mixture back in. And I'm only going to put about maybe a cup and a half to two cups, not the whole thing. All right. There we go. Why not all of it? I don't want it to be drowning in mixture. So, seal the mixture back on. Turn the cancel button off. We'll pressure cook it for four minutes. And we'll be back. All right, so we did the four minute high pressure and we did a natural release. It's got a good flavor to it. Take a look at that. And we've got some fried rice. Uh, we're working on a fried rice recipe in the pot. Haven't perfected that yet, but we'll get there. So, all right, we got chicken adobo and some fried rice. See y'all next time.